Hey guys, welcome to Concept and Coding, and this is Shreyansh. And today we have Tanuj with us. So I'll just set up a context how I know Tanuj, so that you guys also know. So yesterday I got a message with him saying that uh, LLD playlist helped him to crack the phone pay, and uh, that's where I requested him that can you share your roadmap high level like uh, you are this thing. And he accepted this that he will share his uh, preparation strategy how he followed. Then thank you very much, Anuj, for his and first of all congratulations also. Yeah, thank you so much, Anuj. So yeah. yeah, so my journey basically started in the month of uh, January, I say. So I was working as a SD one at Ola Electric. So okay. it was oh, the thanks. same. Yeah. So. So it was the same time the layoff was happening, and also the layoff struck me at Ola. Oh, okay. So how many years of experience you have? So I had around like seven to eight months of experience uh, at Ola. Okay. So I was like a fresher only. Fresher only. So okay. yeah. So I got into the job market in around like mid January, and then from January till May, I was like searching for a good opportunity. May. Okay, almost four and a half months. It's been yeah, almost for four months. Yeah, basically, so I was like not that much prepared in January for the jobs. So basically, it like happened as quick as other people at different companies have faced. So it was a sudden wave of layoffs that happened, and so so for the first few months, like I tried applying for a few companies, although my preparation was not that well up to the mark because. Just for us, uh, six to seven months in the industry, I have just like a basic preparation from my campus placements only. I haven't prepared much after that, going in the full time experience. So, so initially for the few months, I tried applying for the roles, but the number of roles uh, for SD one specifically were very very less. Wow. Even uh, after one month of this big layoff month, the January month, only there were few. Openings for SD three and above, but there were no openings for SD one as such. So it was a little disheartening at first, like seeing uh, this so much layoffs happening. But I kept on pre uh, preparing for the interviews, and somehow I tracked my for I interviewed for our first company like on twenty twenty uh, eighth of Feb, like just okay. one and a half months after half my months. layoff. Okay, so, so after you got uh, from the uh, Ola. So what you did is you started applying, right? So how yeah. did you apply? Where did you apply? What's the, what you follow? What platform you followed? So basically, for the applying for the companies, I like uh, applied on multiple platforms. So I first created a profile on a platform called Insta Hire. Hmm. I believe that's the best I can found uh, in the market, and I created a, also I've created a profile on Nokri. dot com. Okay. And thirdly, I reach out to my college seniors for referrals or if their companies are hiring. So that's third was one one of the main source. Mm -hmm. And also, like sometimes the jobs are listed on LinkedIn as a LinkedIn easy apply button. But I refrain from applying from the easy apply button. So because I've applied to four or five odd jobs, but rejected most of the time. So basically, people apply. So people in thousand and two thousand people apply on single one, and the HRs are not able to like. Get hold of my application. So what I did was I reach out directly to the HRs. Okay. So instead of directly sending the uh, connection request to the HR, I use that add note feature of the LinkedIn. So I used to like list down a small message in two hundred words of what I am and what uh, why I want to connect with you. Okay. So initially I do I hadn't used this add not feature and most of the times the HRs were not accepting my connection request because at that time. They were like getting a lot of uh, connection requests from a lot of people, so that's how I reach out to them and connected to a few of them and and also I started commenting on LinkedIn posts. So there were layoffs happening, so multiple people, even the influencers, and that was commenting about and like there were a lot of posts about layoffs. So I was like commenting interested, okay. uh, interested in a job opportunity. And even on the LinkedIn, I was searching for keywords like SD one job opportunities, job openings, okay. layoff twenty twenty three. So these kind of hashtag I was filtering. Yeah, these were basically the main ways I was like uh, looking for the job. 
so the opportunities which you get for the interview so these are the ways you apply but the real interviews yeah the ways i apply the, these are the ways you applied but the interviews which actually got scheduled from which platform more or uh, what uh, so what is the insta hire insta hire was the main platform so i got like uh, or 9 to 10 companies from that uh, platform okay. and mostly from like directly reaching out to the uh, recruiters on linkedin so these okay. were the main two ways of okay. i like got the job so how many interviews you have given in this four and a half months let me guess uh, so maybe... around 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 because see i have an account on insta here i am getting a daily call so i am expecting it's around to be 25 around <laughs> uh more than 25 easily more than 25 more than 25 okay yeah yeah okay cool cool so 25 interview scheduled already yeah 25 diff- uh okay so like i up, uh in the long i think i applied to more than 500 plus companies oh, and got interview call from maybe like 50 or 60 companies right okay, okay. so now okay so it's good to know that man uh this platforms which you have used uh, right and uh, so now wanted uh, one thing like uh, the preparation strategy which comes into right so you have already yeah. six seven eight months working in uh, the industry totally loses yeah. the control on dsa and all the subjects so after eight months uh, yeah what subjects you started preparing have you found any road maps or from where you prepared those so how you collected those information how you started your preparation how you meant uh, set your mindset okay this many hours i have to study because uh, you might be have full day after the layoff right so how many hours yeah, yeah. so how many hours you were preparing for it how many hours you were doing for job search how you are doing this mental pressure also time pressure also so can you go a little bit uh, more on this man so like just after my layoff as, as i was saying like i was not that well prepared for dsa so first i started looking for what other people uh, are doing in this kind of situation and what the jobs require so i was not aware of so be, basically in a campus kind of environment you generally have only two or three interviews and uh-huh. an offer is given right. but in case of like uh, off campus interviews you usually have three to three to four rounds with uh, some of these companies even asking for a machine coding round or a low level design round yes. so i have to first figure out what thing i am actually preparing for mm-hmm. what kind of questions i would face or what kind of interview would be there so first thing was the first barrier was dsa Correct. so i so in the first round i have to somehow clear dsa Correct. So if even if I prepare for low level design or high level design, it's not going to work because in the first round, DSA would be the first part. So for that, what I did was I started grinding the Lead Code seventy five questions and the top interview questions on Lead Code. Okay. Okay. So these were my first choice, and also I like started visiting the. lead code uh, platform so lead code has a discussion pro- platform uh-huh. where you can see the latest interviews that people have appeared for and the questions you can get so yes. i started going th- uh, through that section so from that i found what questions the people are actually asking and even the name of the companies that pe- right. that are hiring in this current environment right, right. so that's very, very, how i started it's a gold mine actually if you used it properly yeah yeah so that's how first i started dsa like to dsa you were giving in a day so i was probably giving uh, around 6 hours 6 to 7 hours DSA at that time alone by starting easily for how many days DSA. for how many months yeah so so initially for one and a half months i was like probably focused more on the dsa right. so, so that's how like i minimized the time and like i started going on lld so then i like got hold of your uh, in channel from one of my friend okay. and that's how i started preparing for lld from your one of your videos yeah. okay so what so, so generally you what 
I wanted to know one thing which I got a lot of comment. You just watch videos or what's your preparation strategy? I have a strategy for LLD, right? Which I yeah. suggest that just by watching a video, it doesn't help. You have to also prepare with the hand. So just wanted to know how how you uh, so you, you got an LLD playlist, but what was your strategy for practicing? Uh, I uh, for what in the LLD case, what I did was so basically uh, I wasn't aware of the all the types of the design patterns that are currently used in the industry. So first I studied the design patterns mm -hmm. rigorously from your videos, and then. Like even like for a few videos, I watched your few videos and like I got a like a complete gist out of videos. Okay, this is like expected from our solution. So like it should be production grade ready and you have to follow a certain procedure like listing down the components. First, interact with the interviewer, list down the requirements and then from that build the, mo uh, the models or classes. And that's how you uh, like progress in you know, solving a question. So that's the first thing I did and like I was like building small projects on my own Spring Boot based a Java Spring Boot based projects on my own. So I started implementing these type of design patterns and methodology in my own products and my own projects and that's how the things work for me. Got it. So first you did DSA one and a half months after that you have started with the LLD. So still I believe DSA you were doing in parallel, but uh, minimize the time and uh, doing yeah. LLD. So how yeah. much time you gave to LLD and uh, and I, I also get to know, as you said, like while doing LLD, you were also practicing Java Spring Boot and using that LLD into that project. So now four yeah. things are running in parallel, DSA, LLD and your Java Spring Boot yeah. practice through a project. So how you were managing yeah, yeah. your whole day with all these four things? So basically, like you have to be really rigorous in this kind of situation. Like I have to somehow manage. So somehow I have to like take this mental pressure of myself. So initially, like the mental pressure was there uh, in the initial one or one and a half months, but it easily got faded away as I started preparing and have started having more faith in my preparation. So that's why I started like, okay, allotting hours or timelines okay, this should be done in this part of the day. This should be done in this part of the day. So I was like easily managing all the things at once. Like it sounds really stupid to like have these things kind of, but all the things I felt was important at that point. And like in the longer I thought what I did at that part of time was good. But I felt like most of the companies that I interviewed for asked me more about the Java fundamentals. Java fundamentals. Yeah. Like, yeah. So there were like questions on like why inheritance, yeah. what's the difference between abstract and interface class. So that's how uh, things work for Java. Most of the companies focus on that part and like uh, going in the other subjects of uh, computer science like OS and BBMS. OS? Like in OS, OS operating systems. No, I just got shocked. OS what question? Generally, I <laughs> no. probably, I I think I just remember semaphore. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like asked how uh, threads work in Java and how do we implement threads. And also like a few of these uh, startups asked me questions on semaphores and how do you like uh, prevent concurrency. If you have concurrent systems, so these were the things that were like a part of the Java, like o, um, like OS core components. Uh -huh. But like for these uh, things, I didn't go to the entire syllabus of OS. Like there are like easy guidelines available on internet, like twenty top twenty or top thirty interview questions for OS. So I mostly gone through them, and I found found that most of the companies were asking questions from that. And Thank even you know, uh, the concurrency and uh, even the concurrency and this thing are generally comes uh, handled also in the Java also. I think as you said, concurrency, yeah, yeah, yeah. And executor, right? Uh, these all things will generally get covered with the Java because Java also has a concurrency topic. So it gets yeah. covered to that one, multi-threading and all. Like for the companies that are of like small size, like I interview for companies that have like 20 to uh, 50 employees. Like uh, these type of companies were mostly uh, focused on my uh, Java Spring Boot concept. Sure, so yeah, 
so they were asking like they were asking uh, simple questions like what annotations are used for like binding or auto wire con uh, configurations so basically there are different kinds of uh, notations in uh, spring boot that we use for building services so, so, so one question uh, sorry to disturb uh, where did you learn spring boot from i get a lot of questions so mostly, that i just uh, remember so i put it out so uh mostly i learned spring boot from like youtube only so okay. they are uh, my channel that have uh, like a two hour long uh, spring boot uh, tutorials so i followed that and also i used chat gpt uh -huh. okay. so it's it really helped me a lot so i have some idea or if you uh -huh. have don't have a understanding of a particular annotation uh -huh. or just a keyword that is like a alien to me so I just write that down in the thing in ChatGPT and this extends like beautifully on that. Yeah, that's how I really learned uh, most of the, my knowledge get come from like ChatGPT and these cool, stuff. Cool, cool. Okay, Java is Spring Boot for various startup companies. DSA, I think, for all. Yeah. DSA is for all. Yeah, can't ignore that. Uh, and what about LLD, HLD? So for LLD and HLD, so the startups who like are mostly asking about LLD and HLD. A LLD, they were asking me, okay, um, either to like just as explain like orally or even write it down the classes and the functions. And in case of HLD, they were asking me like different like basics of HLD because HLD is like expected more from senior developers yeah. from yeah from uh, my side uh, they were asking like what is a load balancer yeah. how do you do caching and how do you like uh, maintain different uh, servers or horizontal scaling vertical scaling diff knows why would you use a no sql yeah. database a uh, sql database so these were kind of basic things uh, that were touch upon theory, in should be, theory, should, theory is important that's why i always say that yeah. you know, one or two years of experience for HLD theory is important. You should be aware of the tech technology exists in the market, but nobody expect like design Twitter, design Facebook in depth. No, 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 no. And for the LLD concepts, like mostly, uh, I got um, I got questions like how to design a particular, say, a shopping site or yeah. a game. That's how basically. So they were not asking for a completely running code, but yeah. they were like. Uh, I uh, wanted that a person has more understanding about the class. LLD concepts, like yeah. where to implement a class, where to use an interface. So that's pretty much I have, man. Like uh, any information you wanted to add more, which I haven't asked the question, and which you think it might yeah. be useful, man. I think the person like uh, who have been affected by the layoffs, uh, I think they should like wait for the right time to strike. Basically, like I know that the kind of market situation that we are facing right now, it's like a difficult situation, but like with time it eases and somehow or later or sooner you will find the perfect match. Cool, cool. Yeah. 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 And also one more request, Anuj, uh, then like um, if anybody reach out to you for any help and if you think you can help provide them, then please feel free to share. Uh, in the description section, I will share your LinkedIn profile and using that LinkedIn sure. profile, if anybody reach and think during the, you can help with your experience, right? And uh, feel free to help him in your meantime, right? So that's one yeah. request before we cut off. Man. Yeah, sure, 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 yeah. sure. I will be available like 24%. Yeah, that's yeah, man. Thanks. It's a very nice talking to you, man. And really happy that you accepted the call and sharing the high level roadmap how the journey you have been whatever you have told uh, i'm pretty much sure that we can't relate how much tough journey you have given it's look very easy seven hours eh? okay seven hours done but i know how hard it is right so yeah. but really happy for you man uh, congratulations again and thank you so much a lot of more progress and congratulations bye yeah. cool. thanks